Hello, Jesse. <laughs> Hello, David. I'm sorry. I'm never usually impressed by a man's car. It's it's so quiet. Considering this is our first date, it actually makes things a little awkward. The awkward because we have to talk too much. Yeah, the awkward silence has become even more silent. People always think. And I have been guilty in the past of thinking that an electric vehicle is something from the Jetsons or the future, and that it's hideously ugly and dull. And, and dull, right? So it's like eating—I um, don't know—not granola, but um, I had granola for breakfast, David. Uh, whoops. So. So what are we doing on this date? So we're Where gonna. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to show you great things in Toronto that I like. Okay. I spend every single weekend at the antique markets. The St. Lawrence antique market is my favorite. I just don't like the idea of buying everything new when there's all this beautiful old things around. It just leaves less of an environmental impact when you when you reuse. Where do you charge this bad boy? Well, I mean, first of all, you can charge it at your house. Right. Right. But there's lots of uh, places in the city that have charging stations. We'll go to one in a couple of minutes. Oh. If you use this, yes. it'll tell you where the charging stations are. No. Oh, yeah. That's it? That's it. I'm charging it? Yeah, you're charging. Um, so hold on for a yes. second, okay? <laughs> we were within the legal speed limits, of course. There was right. no, no, no question of... Never break the law, David. Violating the law. Former Mayor David Miller. So you haven't been to the Leslie Street Spit? No. So this Vancouver girl who grows up near the endowment lands and loves the ocean and starts her own environmental club hasn't been to one of the most beautiful environmental spaces, most interesting in Toronto. When I was a kid, my grandma used to always take me out to parks like this and, and teach me about nature and birds, and I feel like kids have lost that connection in a way. I feel like a... Like when you live in a city, you get quickly disconnected with nature. And all of a sudden I feel like I'm back in it again. There's six million people within an hour's drive of where we are today. And they all need to be connected with nature. Next time I want to put peanut butter on my head. But as long as it's on your head. Okay. <laughs>